So then we had the war. So I thought, hmm, I think I'll go down to Fort Miles and apply. And I stayed at Fort Miles throughout the war. I was with communications. And it was so interesting. And I felt that I was helping my country out. And with all of those important calls coming from overseas from a terrible war, it just made you shiver at times to think those wars could carry that. How did your life change when Pearl Harbor was bombed? And how did the lives of other people change around you on, on December the 7th? Oh my, that was terrible. Awful. Well, everybody was shocked. And two of my classmates went down with that ship, which was hard. But it was very, very emotional. When you started at Fort Miles, could you just explain your job a little bit more about what you did, what your job was specifically at Fort Miles? OK. We had about 10 girls working. And it was, it was a serious job, but yet it was so important because they would want to bomb air casemate because of communications. That was why the grass was over it and just a little pipe standing up on the top so that they could hardly see if they did come over. Now tell us a little bit about what was at Fort Miles. Well, they had a chapel here and we had boxing and we had football and baseball and we would have dancing. And we had so many professional people that played in the well-known bands. We would have, oh, four, five, six different bands and they would play and they had buses that went from town to town getting the girls that wanted to come down to the fort to dance. And it was wonderful. I enjoyed my job every day I went to the fort. And I met so many lovely people. And I got acquainted with the German prisoner of war and they were so nice. They didn't want this war any more than we did. I learned so much. I lived a, really a lifetime in those four years. It was just fantastic.